Hi, this is Scott Bourne. I am out here at the beautiful Vieira Wetlands near Melbourne, Florida. It's a beautiful April day. We've got some birds. We've got some bird photographers. We've got some bird photography. And today, I'm going to show you what I consider to be proper long lens technique. Now, this is best practices, folks. I'm not saying you have to do everything I do, but if you do what I'm doing here, you'll probably get a little better result when you're using your long lenses. Today, I have a Canon 1DX. I have the new, newish version of the Canon 400 F4 DOIS, which stands for Image Stabilization. This is version 2. This is the most recent version. Uh, this is a very fast lens, F4. I have it attached to a 2X Canon Telextender, which turns this into an 800 F8 lens. And on the 1DX body, I can autofocus at the center autofocus point with even a 2X extender. I have all this mounted on a really right stuff tripod. It's carbon fiber. It's really sturdy, but not heavy. And then I have what's called a gimbal head. This one happens to be a Jobu gimbal head. There's all kinds of brands you can get. I happen to like this one because it's lightweight and it's reasonably affordable. Uh, I move up to the Wimberley head or to perhaps the Kirk photo head if I'm using an 800 fixed focal length lens, but this lens is light enough that it can handle it. And you can see I can easily move the lens around and up and down. So what I want to do when I'm doing proper long lens technique is recognizing that at 800 millimeters, every single tiny flaw will be ultra magnified. So I want to keep everything as tight as can be with in terms of my hold on the camera. But I'm going to give you some counterintuitive advice here. I don't want to lock down the lens. I want to keep it reasonably free and use my body, the tripod to support it, and my face to give me the static control that I want. So I've got a little bit of movement. I have just enough tension here that it's not going to like flop around, but I don't want it to be completely tight because that actually makes it harder to get a really tack sharp image in this particular case. So first thing I want to teach you to do is look at the tripod leg here. You'll see that the cis leg here is perpendicular to the way the lens is pointing. That gives that the most stability. So I have these two legs that I can sort of stand between and I like to widen my stance to at least shoulder width. Now I'm going to take my face and I'm going to put it up against here as hard as I can. And that, that helps steady the lens a lot, believe it or not. And the final step is I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to drape it over the top of the lens. When you do that, you create more control, more stability, and you reduce vibration and shake. And by the way, if you have an IS lens, this is an IS lens, image stabilized, and you have it on a tripod that's not locked down, you can leave IS on. It's going to be fine. It's not going to hurt anything. So I've got my IS on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my face and put it really hard against the camera, look through the viewfinder. I'm going to press down slightly with my left hand here, and I'm going to make sure that my knees are bent, and then I fire away. That's going to give me a nice, sharp image. If I shoot like this, then I'm going to have a lot more magnification of error here. It's going to be harder to get a very sharp picture if I'm like this, if I'm like this, or if I'm like that. Anyway, you get the idea. You want to put your hand up here. Some people will teach you to put it underneath. I don't find that as effective, but you should try it however you like it. Put your hand on top. Make sure that that face is pressing against the viewfinder. You don't want to just be standing like this. That's good. This is better. This gives you more stability. Remember, this tripod leg is matching where the lens is pointing. You want your feet fairly wide apart. Bend your knees and make the picture. That's it. This is all for today's lesson. Hope you enjoy it. We'll have another one of these for you here at photofocus.com real soon.